Hey everyone, welcome to Reseller Robo. Tonight I'm going to show you how I got my eBay net profit up 151% from last month. I'm also going to show you some amazing things that I'm shipping out on one of my best weekends in sales this year. So let's launch this Reseller Robo. <laughs> Hey everyone, happy Sunday to you. If you're not watching the Super Bowl, hey, why not watch me ship, right? If you're watching the Super Bowl, I'll hope you come back later and watch replay. Craig, you were first, but I don't know if you're still here, so it only counts if you're still here, so make yourself known. Hey, Destiny, I uh, didn't get the notification last week. I rung the bell. Hopefully, I will get the notification tomorrow on your live stream. I can't wait to watch you live. Maggie, hey, what happened today? Maggie, you were gone and then you didn't come back in. Did you lose your internet? Hey, Christy, how are you? Good to see you here. Thanks for joining me today. Good evening, Dusty, Maggie, Beth, Chrissy. So, he, uh, Christy, not Chrissy. So, he is here. So, he was first, not Glenn. Oh, and Tommy's here too. Yep, Destiny got her bell rung. That's right. Your internet went out. Okay, well, I thought that was strange because you were able to message me, but maybe you messaged me on your phone. I don't know. Okay, well, you heard it here first. Um, my net sales, my net profit on eBay is up 151% from last month. Isn't that crazy? So we're going to take a look at this real quick. Um, one day um last week i think it was the first of february it was up 211 percent and i was like holy cow and then it went down to 92 and now it's up again so it just depends on the day so as you can see right here this is where i'm getting that number from 157 percent up we're doing this month february i love this number because my sales even when my sales were going up in january my net sales were still going down and so my it says that i've sold 85 items in february and so i typically average get my items for a dollar so that would be like 85 dollars out of this so that means i get to keep a thousand dollars thousand three dollars of what's sold and that's really exciting to me because that means that even if i have a really bad month and my my gross sales are down hopefully my net sales will be up and i'll be able to keep more of the money so i'm going to show you guys what i think has changed that and i'm excited about it because i don't know that's why i made it the topic tonight because people told me this over and over and over again a couple of months ago to do this and i heard them but i didn't listen and so I was hoping by making it a topic that it would finally one day click with some people that maybe they ought to try it. So you're looking at my business policies right now and my first class items, it was first class, right? Under a pound. And so I switched that to ground advantage um, almost as, as soon as they came out with ground advantage. And I was seeing a little bit of difference in the prices. But then what I was also seeing is that some of my priority items over two pounds would have gone cheaper ground advantage, but I was still charging them $8.99. It was still same priority. It was gonna re, um, be received in one to three days. And so I couldn't use that ground advantage to my benefit. And then finally, one day it just kind of clicked with me and I changed my, what's called priority. It's not priority anymore. That's what it's called because they pay $8.99, but I changed it to standard. So when they buy an item that's under a pound, it still says ground advantage. But when they buy something that they pay $8.99 shipping for, it says standard shipping one to five business days. And I get to keep the rest. So tonight when I'm shipping, I have like 25 items to ship out. We're going to probably see some of these items that uh, I'm saving money on, like 
I don't do calculated shipping with clothing because if I put a pair of jeans or a heavy sweater on calculated shipping and it goes to California, the buyer typically pays between 12 and $13 to ship it to California. And I don't think I'm getting those sales. I think they're moving on to other people. So that's why I was putting flat rate shipping on all my clothing. I was doing $8.99 for one pound and up. And then I would put it in a flat rate envelope or a pata flat rate envelope. Since the second week of January, I have not used one flat rate envelope. I have one huge box of 100 flat rate envelopes I haven't even opened and about three fourths of a box that I've never used. And the only padded flat rate envelopes that I've used since the second week of January has been for Poshmark because that's what I shop. That's what I ship my Poshmark items in. I tried these. Y'all were, some people were asking me to recommending me to get these for Poshmark. They're these um, Tyvek, but they don't feel sturdy to me. They're still paper. I mean, they're a thick paper. It feels like wax paper. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're strong, but they're very thin. And to me, it doesn't give a lot of confidence when it goes to rain, mud, somebody stepping on it. So I'm not using these anymore. I think I got like 25 of them to try. So I'm back to the padded flat rate. Even if it's a t-shirt, it goes in a padded flat rate envelope on Poshmark. And I just feel like it, it looks better. I feel like it's safer and that's just me. So I'm going to go back up and see who else has come in to the chat since I looked. Hey, Rita, how are you? I was just thinking of you. I, I'm, I don't know if I messaged you, but hey, um, we're doing a phone call. So be thinking of when we can talk. So listening while cooking dinner. <laughs> I was supposed to cook this on Sundays. I was supposed to cook for the week for my keto. I'm supposed to cook all my snacks and some of the things ahead of time like bacon. Um, I was supposed to cook chicken wings today in the air fryer. I just totally messed up. I didn't defrost the chicken. I thought I could do it frozen. Um, so that was out. So I have no chicken wings made. I fried bacon and I ended up burning my finger. Um, I grabbed the, I don't know why I left the tongs on the pan for some dumb reason. And I grabbed the tongs and they were fiery hot. But it's, I thought it was going to blister, but it looks like it's going to be okay. Um, I was just having a disaster in the kitchen. So I just did a few things. I made my tortilla chips in the air fryer and that's all I got done today for cooking. So um, last weekend I was out of, I was out of town and I didn't do any of my cooking on Sunday. And so we ended up cheating most of the week because I didn't have anything prepared. And that's the only way I can stay on this diet is by having everything prepared and pre-measured. So you message me from your phone. Okay last 30 days for you is down 61 percent is that gross craig net oh you done nothing with your store well that explains that hey mike how are you so i don't know if if my net sales are up 151 percent that's the only thing i can think of because even when my store was doing great last January, last February. My net sales were never more than my gross sales ever. They've never been. I typically was doing like sometimes 40% I would net. And then by the time I took away my cost of goods, I was getting down there to the 35, 38. And I don't like that. And I'm using promoted listings. And so I figured, hey, I'm going to keep my promoted listings high, high for me, and then collect the extra money. Like I shipped a pair of jeans the other day for $6 and I charged them $8.99 shipping. And they don't know the difference because it's still coming in one to five days. And I haven't given them the choice, I don't think, in my first class, Ground Advantage, to up it to priority. I need to double check that in my business policies. I had before where if they added... I think $2 or something, they could up it to priority. But I don't want to do that because I'm in a hurry and, you know, half the time I'm in a fog. And I, when I look at the, the order, I don't want to have to look and see how much they pay for shipping. So I'm trying to make it easy on myself. Now, if they message me and say, I want this to go priority, I'd ask them to PayPal me a couple of bucks. Um, but 
I, nobody's done. I mean, out of all the sales I've made, I've probably made, I mean, I don't know how many sales I've made since 2017. I think I've only had twice and anybody said, Hey, I need these in a rush. Can I get them? You know, priority just, I probably need to look into my shipping policies. I've been using a 999 priority for the longest time. Ooh, that's kind of high. I use 90, 999 for anything over two pounds. No, am I right? Yeah. Anything over two pounds is 999. And then if it's super, super bulky, like a coat or something, I'll put $11.99. But again, now that I'm doing ground advantage, um, I'm going to be able to keep a lot of that money, I think. And then the also thing also is eBay has gone to cubic shipping. Um, they need to change it, though. They need to do the soft packaging like the poly mailers. They don't have that ability yet. So I'm putting in 13 by 10 by 1 on my, my heart poly mailers. And then if I fold it really close, I'll put maybe uh, nine by nine by one, but they really need to have the soft packaging. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I think I overdid it on the lipstick. I tried to, <laughs> tried to blot it. Well, it's just not working. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I have a question. Do you or anybody use up UPS sticky labels? I don't ship UPS, so no. I use Ro um, Rolo sticky labels. I think they're four by six. I think they're four by six. If anyone can answer Christy's question, please put it in the chat. And if you're watching afterwards, please put it in the chat. So right now, while we're waiting for, I mean, a lot of people are probably watching the Super Bowl right now, but that's okay. Why don't we go ahead and send out some juju? I hope you guys make some sales tonight. hope that gives you a sale tonight so let's put this banner up let me know if you make a sale during the show i'll do my best to watch the chat tonight mike i have no doubt that those are strong they feel strong it's not so much that i don't feel they're strong but you can like feel feel the material under it like especially like you can feel the snaps and you can feel the zipper and I don't know. I'm just not used to it. I mean, I'm going to keep them there and use them eventually, but I mean, you know, maybe for something that's smooth, I don't know, but it, it just makes me nervous. I'm just so used to the padded. Um, I use mostly padded flat rates for Poshmark. I, I apologize if I already read this for eBay. I mostly do ground advantage, even for heavier clothing. Um, hi, Mike. I am making steak and cheese garlic toast with steamed vegetables. That sounds yummy. What have you done with shipping on jeans? I have lots of jeans listed. It has been powder flat rate for a long time. Yeah, that's what I was using. It is now powder flat rate is now gone up to $7.99. Um, so I'm putting them in a regular poly mailer and ground advantage. I've shipped a pair of jeans for as little as $6.00. And pretty much no more over more than seven dollars, but they're still getting charged eight ninety nine. So I'm I'm going down on what I'm paying, but I'm keeping it the same. And that's the other good thing. I haven't um, raised my shipping prices in like two or three years, and so this is going to keep me from having to raise my prices on shipping. I can go quite a while before I'm going to. Well, knock on wood that the post office doesn't, you know four times this year go up it's a possibility but i won't have at this at these prices i won't have to um increase my shipping charges to the customer so that's another plus supposedly you can get them free or discounted U U ups yes you can christy but you're supposed to use them for ups only and just like people are misusing the usps materials if um people start 
I don't know how they'll figure it out, maybe by how many people are getting them. But the more people misuse those UPS labels for other things, the likelihood that they will take the free away. So just make sure you're using them for um, United Parcel Service only. We use UPS label in our off-brand Rolo. Awesome. Cool. All right. $8.99. $8.99. Okay. Ground Advantage. Yeah. I didn't put Ground Advantage on my one to two pound ones. Um, I don't know why I didn't do it. I mean, I could put Ground Advantage. I just change it to standard so they don't know how I'm shipping it. But. I mean, I could have done that. I just didn't. And so I haven't changed it because what I noticed when I changed it the first time, and I think we did that on live, some items had offers on them and some didn't, and they were having to go priority. And so anything that's got an offer um, on it already, or people are looking at it, it won't change for them. And so I guess I just kept it at standard. And But I mean, really it's ground advantage, right? If I ever see that I'll go cheaper priority, which so far it hasn't since they had the new changes on the cubic, then I definitely will. All right, we got a lot to ship tonight, guys. I mean, I, it's today. This was one of the best weekends I've had in a while. I've done 300 um, each Saturday and 300 Sunday, so um, I'm very, very happy with that. And I had quite, a, I had several bundle sales. Um, and so I'm going to ship this one bundle sale right now. Oh, I think I'm, am I doing it backwards? No, I'm not. I have to put the glare glasses on. Sorry. It's not glared for me, but it's glared for you. That's the best I can do. So I'm going to go down here. I already gave her, she bought three pairs of pants and um, she paid for them together. And then she went and bought another pair of pants and paid for them separately. So I gave her a $3 50 cent refund. So on the first order, she spent $62.02, and on the second order, she spent $18.61. She had a pair of Roz Ali pants, Avenue pants, George pants, and then a Joe Ben Bassett pants that I just listed in January. I don't know why I picked those up. I have no clue. So I put them in this box that's 15 by 12 by 6. It's an Amazon box, and um, I'm trying to recycle as much as I can right now. And so it says it weighs six pounds, but it, it doesn't weigh that much. So um, this is going to be to Doris and I'm going to have to go back and put the tracking on here. So hopefully I won't make a mistake tonight, but I don't know how much this weighs. And I think my tape gun's getting ready to run out of tape. Always does that on live streams, right? But I'm pretty fast at changing it out. I made a couple of boxes up. Yep, it just ran out. Figures in the very first one. Um, I have exciting news. I have been selling the parts from the appliances that I bought last Sunday at the flea market like crazy. That Homika vacuum cleaner. Guys, if y'all ever see a Homika vacuum cleaner, buy it. The parts are selling like crazy. And I paid $40 for the machine. I expect to make about $250 on the parts. If all of them sell, I had, there are 15 pieces and I don't know that all the parts will sell, but okay, I've got to find my tape. I brought some in here. I try to bring extra of everything so I wouldn't run out on air. I lasted like three years without a tape gun. And then all of a sudden it just, I was watching Megan Mawinney one night shipping and I'm like, why do I not have a tape gun? And this is my second one I've gone through. The first one was kind of cheap, I guess. All right, we're going to try this again. This woman's name is Doris, and she lives in Maryland. Thank you, Doris. The only thing I don't like about this one is you have to turn the screw with your fingers, or it won't. I, know, I guess it's just old. So I'm trying to recycle because I'm every penny I'm trying to save right now. I'm just trying really hard to put money away. 
All right, it's going to go for four pounds. It's right at four pounds. Let's see how much this is going to cost. The dimensions were 15 by 12 by 6. Okay, if that went priority, it would be 1540. Ground advantage, it's 989. Guys, they spent 690, they spent $28 on shipping. I gave them 350 back, so they got like what? $24.50 is what I got to keep of the shipping, and I spent $9.89. That's just crazy. That's where it's happening. That's where my net profit is going up. had a lot of um, comments recently about my packaging that my packaging is cute um, I don't really mean it to be cute but I guess if it's cute to them and that's what they want to say um, that's fine all right it's telling me this is going to go to my HP printer I don't want that also telling me I have to sign into Microsoft. I don't know if I know my Microsoft password. And the other day it was threatening me on Excel saying I wasn't going to be able to use my Excel if I didn't sign into Microsoft. And I was like, uh, no, I should be able to, to use that. Callie, go see Mama. All right, so I have to copy this. And go back to that Joe whatever pair of pants. I don't know why I bought those pants. No clue. I can hear my dog. There's a raccoon out there. I'll check the chat in just a second. I just need to mark this as shipped. All right, now my printer is saying that it's offline. Does anyone buy, want to buy me or want to buy my Rolo printer? Because now it's saying it's offline. I can't stand this thing. Move you back over for a second. It's the best way for me to read the chat is to move you back over. Let's see if that works. I don't know. We don't get our UPS from UPS. We buy them in bulk cheap from an overstock warehouse. We buy in cases of 6000 a case. Wow. That's a lot. I would have to make more sales to afford that. Very little sales here. Are you working it, Christy? Are you consistent every day? Um, been printing out labels at the library? Yeah, that's a good idea. Got to be consistent every day. Do the same thing every day. I know it's boring. I think that's why my sales have gone up because I went from going 15 live to 30. Um, okay, that can't be right. It's all crunched. You can't. It says it's ready, but it's all crunched. That's not going to work. I'm wasting labels here. This is pissing me off. Let me go back. Did Tommy say he has a Rolo? Oh, off-brand Rolo. Maybe that's what I should have gotten. This Rolo is, it sucks. It's a wireless Rolo. It loses connection all the time. And um, it just drives me nuts. And nothing else I have on my Wi-Fi loses connection. Just the Rolo. And then I got to put my password in. and I mean, people watching me live know. Okay, this is a swimsuit. I've sold several swimsuits um, in the last few days. This is a Catherine's. Um, 
Why is it not showing me my whole thing? It sold for $32.42. It was listed in October and I paid a dollar for it. That's kind of cute, huh? I listed another one that looks similar to that. That's a 30W. And I was really expecting the 30W to um, sell sooner than that one, but it didn't. And this one is going to Paulette. And Paulette lives in Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo, Michigan. So, you guys aren't watching the Super Bowl, or do you have it on in the background? I heard Reba did an awesome job on the um, National Anthem. We're, we don't watch the Super Bowl. We don't watch football anymore since they did the kneeling thing. Um, so, um, and I forgot she was going to do the national anthem. And if I would have remembered, I would have at least watched that. We don't even watch it for the commercials. We we watch the commercials later. We hear about them. We pull them up on the internet. And um, we're just not into football. Sorry, I put. I don't know if you have to put dimensions on the these little poly mailers or not. The ships for six sixteen. Because it weighed almost a pound, so. What's everybody drinking tonight? I just had a little glass of wine. Because you guys know how I get nervous before live streams, so. Hey, um, Destiny, can you mention my uh, podcast? Or can I come on maybe one night and mention my podcast? I'd really love that because I bet there's some people that watch your mental health safe space who have OCD. I have some awesome interviews coming out on my channel. I mean, I, I interviewed a guy Thursday, he's Australian and he has a group called mindful men and he was amazing. He was so good. All right. What else I'm making? I mean, I'm, I'm far away. So bad, I'm printing out labels at the library. Been checking my efforts on eBay. Rello is chocolate and caramel, right? It's <laughs> about all it's good. May sell on Mercari, but it's very little profit. It's in the background, but I'm sick. You're sick, Rita. What do you have? You don't have the C, do you? The COV. Hope you get to feeling better. Okay. Next is Kato. I think this might be Poshmark, but I'm not sure. These only sell for $22.66. They were listed since July of 2022, which is why I had them. And I think they sold them for $14.99. So these are jeans. These are going to be two pounds and they're going to South Carolina. So let's see. Once I get this uh, thank you note written, her name is Fatilka. I never heard of that name. F-E-T-I-L-C-A. Interesting. At first I thought it was Felicia. So instead of putting this Craig into a flat rate envelope for $7.99, I'm going to put it in a poly matter. Now, the other thing about it is, since I'm not using flat rate envelopes, I'm having to order more of these. Um, so that is com that is coming out of my pocket a little bit. Um, but, you know, hey, and I don't know, actually, these may not fit in here because these are really kind of thick. We'll see. My dog is getting sick on air. I hope y'all can't hear that. <laughs> it never surprises me. <laughs> okay, they did go in. All right, so let's see, instead of $7.99, which is what it would usually cost me, they paid $8.99, don't forget that. I'm going to South Carolina, that's almost as far as California, really, from here, from Texas. They weigh, they're going to go two pounds, and we're going to go 
thir uh, 13 by 10 by 1. Ground Advantage is $6.09. I mean, go figure. Is that not amazing? Like, I love the post office now. Even though they lost 35 of my packages last month, I only ended up paying $40, I think, for packages that never moved. Um, eBay was wonderful. They held my hand through the whole thing and made me feel like they had my back. And they just couldn't do anything about those two that didn't move. They just would not move, even when I opened up cases. But I think I counted 35 cases open and that I was really lucky because some of my packages were not scanned by my temporary mail carrier and they were saying I just made a label. They weren't saying I even shipped them. So I think they've got it figured out. I haven't opened up a lost mail case in almost a week. So I think it's getting better. I have no idea where we're going to put these things because all my tubs are full of inventory. Um, Christy, did you make them sell a Mercari during the show? Let me know. You have a cold? Ugh. Well, I'm glad it's not anything worse than that. I'm glad it's not the, you know what word. I don't even want to say that word because. Okay. I, I bought this for a dollar. I listed it in January. It is a very cheap brand. However, it sold for $22.56 and it was only listed a month. So this was a 5X LT King's King size men's shirt. And I get these shirts all the time. They're, they're not a big brand and, but they sell and they sell pretty quick. This goes to Jessica. Jessica lives in Wisconsin. Boy, has it been a week. We've been, we were at the vet twice this week. We've, now five times in two weeks. Um, he's doing okay. He's he's holding his own. Uh, he's happy. We're just going to keep on going until he's not happy anymore. But boy, is it expensive. Uh, we were there Wednesday for at least one minute. It took one minute, two minutes. $209 for a blood test. It's like... But we have health insurance, uh, pet insurance, so that covers 80%, which is awesome. The medicine is, like, so expensive. And we have to go through the it's people medicine. So we have to go through Walgreens or CVS. It's kind of pain in the butt. It's usually controlled substance. So then we have to drive all the way to the vet on the other side of the town to get the written prescription. It's crazy. Well, he's worth it. Aren't you, but he's not even in here. He's, I'm just going to chunk these on the floor. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, note before. Okay. wonder where Glenn is. He was in Scott's chat a minute ago. I wonder where he went. All right. We got a dress barn here. Hold on. Um, Listed it in July of 2022, so I took a best offer of $11, so she paid $18.71. I should have pulled it up so you could see. And I want to know, guys, what is selling for you guys right now? So there it is. Nothing special. Size 14, 16. I no longer pick up 14 and 16s anymore, so... That would not be something I would pick up today. Sticking with a 18 and up. 
Um, so guys, if you don't know what to sell, this has come up a little bit. People have asked me off, off screen, you know, what's selling? What should I buy? What should I source? I would say number one, something that you love and something that you know a lot about. Like if you travel a lot, you know about, you know, travel kits and luggage and, uh, you know, bags, carry on bags and shaving kits and things that you can carry in your suitcase, you know, and look for what's plentiful. If you don't like clothing, because clothing is plentiful everywhere, look for something else that you can get a lot of. And, and then you have to learn how to list it because just because you like it does not mean that you know how to list it. And I learned that the hard way with clothing. Donna lives in New York. So thank you, Donna. That went for $4.55. I'm glad that's gone. No more 14s. Has to be a really good selling brand for me. Nothing at all. Why haven't you been working um, on your store, Craig? Have you been working a lot at your regular job? Because I'm really approaching burnout right now. I'm working harder right now in my eBay store, I think, than I ever have. And at this rate, I cannot go back to my until noon schedule. And I'm, I'm doing better at parts. I'm making fewer mistakes, but I'm still having trouble uh, integrating... Like, I could never be an everything seller. If I was an everything seller, it would take me forever. All right, here's another swimsuit. I was so glad. I was thinking swimsuits were starting to get popular because I could tell that people were watching my items because I was sending out offers, but nobody was taking me up on it. I listed this in November. They spent $28.83, and this brand is really not that awesome of a brand but it's a 2x so it's a catalina and it's got it's like got the open back and i don't know it's cute and yes for your those of you who might ask do i take returns on bathing suits absolutely um what i do is most of my bathing suits are pre-owned so when it comes back i will wash it again if it was new with tags, I will, and it comes back, which I don't think I've ever had a bathing suit come back, but if it was new with tags and it comes back, then I would take the tag off, I would wash it, and then I would probably list it as new without tags, but put the tag there anyway, um, and put on there that it had been washed, you know, because I don't think I've ever had a bathing suit come back before, but I mean, I haven't sold maybe 20 in my whole eBay career. This goes to Guadalupe in California. And thank you, Guadalupe. I hope you like your swimsuit. So obviously people are either going on cruises right now or they're getting ready for the season. They feel like they've lost as much as they're going to lose. This is the weight they're going to be in the summer and they're starting to buy. And I've got, I've probably got 45, 35, 45 listed, I would think. Let's see, 545. Let's see if this changes, if I change the dimension. See, it doesn't change the price. That's why I don't think on ground advantage on these poly mailers, it really matters that you put the dimensions in. I heard on Pirate, I think on Pirate Ship, you get a soft package deal for a poly mailer but i don't know if it's cheaper but i don't use poly i don't use uh, pirate ship very often just when i have a real mess of a package or like for personal reasons or when i do my reseller boxes i i use pirate ship if i sell something privately I use pirate ship but <sighs> My phone is buzzing. I don't know what it is. 
So I went to see Kimmy the other night. We had dinner, you know, borderline borderish life of Kimberly. And I went inside the restroom and we sat down and we ordered drinks, adult beverages. So I thought, oh, I'll just take a picture of my beautiful strawberry daiquiri. Well, when I went to get my phone, I didn't have it. Couldn't find it anywhere. And she was in the restroom. So I was like, I wanted to leave so bad, but she was in the restroom. She comes back. I go, look, I got to go to my car because I almost remember picking my phone up out of my car. I got to go find my phone. It was face down in the parking lot next to my car. Guys, I was freaking out. I was so glad I found it. Huh. Books and video games have been selling well lately. Oh, awesome. Maggie, I'm still thinking about doing those collaborative cookbooks, but I haven't been anywhere lately where they are. But I think when I go to the bins in Austin, I'm going to look for some. I would, I really miss selling those collaborative cookbooks. And it's baseball season. Practice four days a week. Holy cow. Walmart has bathing suits out already. Well, that figures. Hey, Glenn, there you are. I was just asking about you. I saw you in Scotch chat. Get a tag gun and just put it back on after washing. Yeah, I could, but I have a tag gun, but it's not really new with tags because it's been washed. So I probably, and somebody's tried it on. So I'll just probably put it new without tags. I mean, um, I don't know. I guess it just kind of depends on my thought. But yeah, I got a tag gun and I paid like $7 for it. And I think I've used it like twice, but there are times that I know I'm going to need it. So, okay, this is something about this sale. Uh, it was listed in December, but it was relisted, which means it was listed for two years and then it didn't sell and I relisted it. So it sold for $24.59. This is a Ralph, a Loren, Ralph Loren button up small, which is why. You know, I would never pick that up anymore. So. And back then, it says I paid $1.75 for it because back then, two, two and a half years ago, I was paying $1.75 almost every week. And I'm usually paying between 25 cents and a dollar. So this goes to Linda. Um, how many of you watch Blue Bloods? <laughs> I am very upset with Blue Bloods. Um, don't give away the plot line, but I am very, very upset the way they handled the Linda um, storyline. It sucked. I've never, I don't, and I heard that the TV show had a lot of criticism for the way they handled that. So, I don't know. And I didn't even really care for the character, but I didn't, the let the actress wanted to leave and, and she left. And then they basically didn't even really tell you anything until like two or three episodes later. And I just thought it was dumb. I thought it was stupid. And I thought it was chicken of them to do that. Like we don't want to tape a show explaining where she is. So we're just going to not mention that she's gone and she's a wife. And a mother on the show. She just happens to not be here anymore. Stupid. Other than that, and I also think that they have changed writers. We are on season eight now. And about two seasons ago, we're, we're binge watching, by the way. We started from season one. We're on chapter season eight. I really can tell that they've changed writers because some of the characters are different. Their personalities are different. And... I don't know how I feel about that. I need to get to some of these parts so y'all can see some of these awesome parts that sold that I bought last weekend. Let's see if I can find one. All right. Here's one. So this is the Homika. The number is H016 Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. I have sold three parts from this machine this weekend. 
Um, I paid $40 for the machine. I've already sold five parts. I've already made about $60, let's say. So they, this one sold for $21.61, was listed like Wednesday. And this is the filter for the machine. <laughs> Super little. Um, so that's how little it is. I put on there that it was from a new machine. And then I put a picture of the, oh, I'm trying to click on the stream yard. And then there's a picture of the um, model number on the bottom. So very, very happy. Um, I thought the battery would sell first, but it didn't, but it did sell today. So nobody had any of these parts listed. No, nobody. I was the only one and I could have been super greedy. Um, but I thought to myself, well, um, if somebody only, if they could buy a brand new machine for $55, they're not going to spend $30 on a, on a filter, you know, they could just buy a new machine for $55. So I, I priced them accordingly to what I thought I would spend. Put some bubble wrap. Bring me a little box. This goes to William. It'll rattle around, but that the rattling is my thank you note, not the not the filter. The only thing I'm worried about coming back is the battery. I mean, she proved to me that it was 21% charged, but that's the only one I'm a little nervous about. But I didn't have anything to charge it with. I mean, I had already taken the machine apart when I thought about it, and I couldn't figure out how to get it back together. And I'm like, I'm not going to spend all this time trying to figure out how to get this stupid thing back together just so I can charge the the battery more so six by five by five i don't know if you have to put does anybody know you have to put these in for ground advantage so it's 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 automatically going to priority which would be eight dollars 41 cents but i can send it for four dollars 47 cents that's awesome I don't know. I got to quit putting these stickers on first because I keep covering them up with the label. Uh, I'm trying to not say um, but I keep saying it. Destiny, have you listened to entering my interviews yet on my channel? There's a really good one by, uh, I almost said um again. Well, the interviews are good anyway, but I'm getting better at it. But there's a really Janea from Australia. She's a she's awesome. I mean, they're all awesome. Everybody's so kind and open and talkative to where I don't have to pull information from them. I only had one person ghost me so far. And she was kind of weird on the pre-interview, and so I, I kind of got a weird feeling from her. Okay, this next one is, oh, let me go ahead and see if anybody said anything. Going to be on his show next week. Oh, how in interesting, how exciting for you. Interesting. Okay, now this is another filter. This is called the exhaust filter. It sold for $22.05. And on that filter I just showed you, I put a disclaimer in the bottom that said this is not the exhaust filter. I mean, you would think they would know what it looked like, but I put that anyway. So this is a different filter on this machine. So right there, those two have paid for the machine because I pay 40. So this goes to Amanda. So I think I'm going to hightail it back to the flea market in a week or so. 
I don't know how long you should wait between trips to the flea market. Like do vendor, I mean, if any of you go to flea markets, do vendors typically like have new stuff out every week or is it the same old stuff? Because it's like an hour and 15 minutes away, but then I can go see my parents afterwards. But So it's not a wasted trip, but. And to think I was bummed when I only got four. And I still haven't listed two machines. They're still in my trunk. These are just two machines that I had. And one of the other ones sold something too in a minute. I'll show you that one. Now, this may not fit in here. Let me get a tight squeeze. This is just, this is my least favorite part. I have not, but I will, but I will need a link to, it. oh, okay. Um, it's just called Around and Around the OCD Circle. It's on Spotify, YouTube, and iTunes. Around and Around the OCD Circle. But I can send you a link to the YouTube channel, but most people don't listen to it on YouTube. Majority of people listen to it on iTunes. I just have that there for people that are more comfortable. I'll send you a link. I thought I sent you a link, but maybe not. Okay, again, this one's saying priority six eighty eight and ground advantage is four dollars thirty eight cents. I mean, really. I don't know why it is um defaulting to priority unless i put that it was over two pounds because i i do these i copy my drafts like i copy i did one draft and then i copied it 14 times to do the other 14 pieces and maybe the first piece i did was over a pound and so i just copy that Other, otherwise i don't know why it would be defaulting to priority but it doesn't matter Oh, God, I hope my postal carrier shows up tomorrow. I'm going to have to text him tomorrow because I will not be able to. If I don't think he's coming, I will be a wreck if I don't know he's coming. I have to know because he will take care of me. The lady that came yesterday did not scan, but at least she picked him up. But she still didn't scan. All right, what else we got? I'm going to try to find that bean grinder thing. Oh, okay. Now, here's the other machine I bought. It's called a Mueller, uh, Mueller Ultra Grind Conical Burr Grinder Bean Container and Lid. And it sold for $33.10. It was listed for $37 something. Then they used a coupon. And it was on sale. All of them come on sale 10% off. And then they used a 20% off coupon. So, yeah, everybody sees my kitchen table. <laughs> I'm still struck. I'm still clicking on StreamYard. So, and I did a whole video on how I photograph appliance parts. So, Mueller. I just looked it up and nobody had any piece, nobody had any parts listed. And I talked her down to $20 for the machine. There were only three pieces. So, um, but the comps looked really good on the machine itself. So, all right, this is, I probably should have, I'm going to pack this later because I think I really need large bubble wrap for this. I'm going to pass on that one. Um, See, I, I haven't had to buy bubble wrap in like three years, and it's just been so nice not having to buy bubble wrap. But, okay, this is Coral Bay. Sold for a big $12. And let me see how long I had it listed. 
that's the problem with Poshmark. You can't see anything. You have to click on it. It was listed this month and I took $12 for it. Why I took so little, I don't know. I don't know why I took so little, but there it is. It was listed this month. It's cute, but man, did I take a little hit on that one. But my uh, my earnings were six, seven dollars, and then my the, I made six dollars on that top, and it sold really quickly. So Poshmark has been so slow for me lately that I'm really any sales I get on Poshmark. I only have four this weekend. Any sales I get on Poshmark, I'm very thankful for because Patricia, Chesapeake Beach, Maryland. Um, anybody got any good stories to tell from the week? Um, do y'all still have Mr. Pickles, um, Destiny? I haven't seen Mr. Pickles, but obviously I haven't been watching your channel. My bell was not wrong. So, and Kimberly told me she's been watching Jasmine's whatnot. And that she's doing great on it. All right, next one. Okay, I just listed this one. If this is the one I'm thinking, yeah, I just listed. It. I mean, it was listed 24 hours, if that long. And I may have taken an offer. I shouldn't. Have. Let me see. It's over 29.38. It was just listed the other day and it actually had a stain on it and I had to put stain remover on it and I don't remember where the stain was, but it is just cute with the embellishments here. And when you open this left, well, the right side, like right here, when you open that, there were stains all like coffee stains all over here. So I had to get my uh, grandma spot remover and then also put oxyclean in the water and it came out so uh, I was so glad because I thought that was beautiful I just didn't know it would sell so fast but so 29.38 goes to Bonnie can y'all do me a favor and hit the like button while you're in here that would be great Taggy, I need you to contact me about another Tag Talk date because I need to start looking at my calendar. Um, that sips to 5 5.52 to Deer Park, Texas. That's right outside of Texas. I mean, right outside of Houston, not Texas. Deer Park. He's going to be on the show next week. Oh, go on, oh, man. That's I'm not, but I, I want to put a link to it. Uh, he is 16 now and very ornery. <laughs> yeah, I got two uh, special needs. Uh, what do you call it? Elderly dogs, and you know, they're they're sometimes they're mellowed, but other times. Like, if Finny is sleeping and you disturb his sleep, he gets really pissed off. <laughs> All right. So what do y'all think of the sales so far? Do you like the items that have sold? Um, 
do you think going back to appliance parts for me was a good thing because I do, but I don't like them still. I'm, I'm still have a love hate relationship with them. It, it, but I'm comping them more and being more, and I'm comping my clothes too. Even the littlest things in clothes, I find myself comping right now because the prices are just going down. They really are. And I'm just shocked at some of the prices that people are getting for things that I used to get so much more. Um, this is this sold for 2017. It's been listed since December of 2022. Paid a dollar seventy-five for this. This is when I first started evidently selling men's 3XL and up shirts. So once I find my mouse, I can show it to you. I mean, it was a really pretty shirt. Um, some of these men's shirts are probably sitting longer than I want them to, to be honest with you. But I just keep buying them because some of the weirdest brands are selling. So I just keep buying them. And like you saw that King size, that's a really cheap brand, I think. And it, and it sold for pretty decent money. And I don't know, this goes to Jeremy. I think Jeremy might be a repeat buyer. He lives in Baton Rouge. Maggie, that's another trip we could take is go to New Orleans. Oh my gosh, I love New Orleans. I love walking through the shops and there's a shop down there that has all the old movie uh, posters and everything signed by all the actors from years ago, like Judy Garland and Clark Gable. And oh my gosh, I went in there and I acted like I was rich. And I walked up to the, I think it was Casa, what's that one called? Carta, what's the name of that old movie? Anyway, you know, the one with Humphrey Bogart and um, Casablanca, isn't it? And I acted like I had the money to buy it. And I said, so um, how much do you want for this? And she was like, $15,000. I'm like, hmm. Okay, well, um, let me think about it. And I'll get back to you. Do you have a business card? <laughs> like, I was acting super rich. And um, I don't know why I did it. I was just, I was by myself. I was having fun. And... Still waiting on my Rolo. Did I tell it to print? I thought I did. Not printing. Dang it. I hope this went to Jeremy because that's the one I'm printing. Come on. It's not printing. Okay, so where's Valerie tonight? She says she was coming. Well, hey, Jennifer, how are you? Do we have any birthdays coming up this week? And then I do need to, speaking of Jennifer coming in, I need to do some concerns. Thank you, Jennifer, for coming in. That reminded me. Any birthdays coming up? Okay, well, guys, um, let's do some concerns in the community, okay? And then um, I will uh, tell who we need to think of and pray for. Okay, so as always, we continue to think of and pray for and send good thoughts to Pat D's, Cindy Y, Jennifer Hayes, Lisa C, and Adam's Exploits. 
any other concerns in the community, please put them in the side chat for me. Or if you're watching later, please put them down in the comments so that I can add them to my list. Thank you very much. And again, if you have a birthday this week or I missed you last week in the side chat, please put that there now because I can't believe I forgot concerns. Like I must not have, I think I had it on my list and I just skipped my list. I don't know. Um, two minute warning. What does that mean? We did a meetup three years ago there. Oh, okay, you did? Oh, I didn't know that you liked New Orleans, Maggie. I didn't know, you know, how... Oh, two-minute warning on the ball game. Oh, wow. No, no, but you're always... Yeah, you're always on my list, Jennifer. And I just totally... And Adam wasn't here, and Adam was always on my list. And so that usually kind of... And like I said, it's probably written down in my notes, and I just skip my notes. Um, tell totally skip my notes. Maybe I should look on there and see. Yeah, concerns right there. Um, yeah, just skipped them. All right. Uh, okay. This is an interesting sale because this lady kept make uh, this lady kept uh offering me nine dollars for the shirt. I listed it in August. Um, and it's a St. Patrick's Day shirt, which is coming up quickly, right? And she kept ask, offering me nine bucks. And I kept telling her, no, I'll take twelve forty nine because that's half of um, what it's originally listed for. And uh, it's a 2XL. I feel certain that I can either sell it or sell it next season. And she kept countering with nine bucks. And I kept countering with twelve forty nine, And it sold to somebody else for twenty one eighty two. So when you do that it's you know flagging your item and it's showing it to other people supposedly um in that case it worked because this was all happening today and i doubt it's the same lady because i told her i would sell it to her for 12.49 and she didn't take it she paid more for that than that so people are strange but it creates a lot of activity on your item. This goes to Mary in Michigan. Another Michigan. Heart Michigan. Never heard of that before. It's tied. I don't even know who's playing other than the Chiefs, right? The Chiefs are playing. That's all I know because I keep seeing Chiefs. I don't know if y'all know Lakewood Church in our town. Um, John Osteen, y'all know him, the preacher, the mega church. There was a shooting there today and a child was shot as in critical condition. The mom, I think the mom is dead. The mom was the shooter. And um, so we can think of that family. And then I think another man was shot in the leg. So you can't even go to church anymore. I mean, it's just ridiculous, you know. I've been there for concerts. I've never attended there, but I've been there for concerts. It's at the old Summit or Compact Center where our hockey team used to be. So it, it's humongous. It was out in the lobby when it happened. So I don't know. All right, this is a Leoma Love Grove top. I really liked it. It sold for $21.38. It was listed this month. It was a sea turtle. I got another Leoma Love Grove up there that's a watercolor heart that I'm getting ready to list. It's really pretty. But uh, the sea turtle, isn't that, let's see if we can get a closer shot. Isn't that pretty? Leoma Love Grove sells really well for me. It doesn't sell, but it has a tied hem too. That was cute. But um, it sells really well for me. But, you know, you don't get a lot of money for it. But it sold quickly. So $21.38 goes to Susan. Susan's a repeat buyer. She may be one of, She may be one that buys Leon, Leon Love Grove a lot. I don't know. Like I said, if you carry the same things that your buyers are buying uh, and encourage them to favorite your store, and send out buyer groups every day and newsletters every day. You will get people coming back. I noticed when I showed you my sales for the month, I've had four 
repeat buyers already this month. I typically have between seven and 10. So they do come back, which is what makes me concerned about them seeing the appliance parts in the storefront. But um, there's nothing I can do about that. So it, it is what it is. And, you know, it ships for 4.43 to Florida, Port Charlotte. Yeah, that kind of rings a bell. I forgot to look and see if she was a repeat buyer. Um, this is kind of going down a little bit. <laughs> I'm not used to wearing this type top. It's my wife. I went out there and I showed my wife. I go, well, what do you think about wearing this tonight? And she's like, it's nice. She says, but it's not you. It's not something you would normally wear. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to branch out, you know, be brave and, you know, She's like, oh, it's nice. It's just not something you ever wear. So, I don't know. Just the fact that I'm showing my shoulders is kind of high. All right, this is a Poshmark sale. And I this, I think it is, but maybe not. I saw quite a bit of Time and True this week. Uh yeah, Time and True sold for $12 again. Where this $12 is coming from, I don't know why. It's, these must be 20 and then they're getting 40% off, maybe? Probably. This was listed in January. So that's probably why. I've got my, um, right now I've got my offer set to 40%. Um uh, offer. Isn't that cute? That was only listed a month. That's a Walmart brand. So that's a that's cute. That's why the $12. Because last year I would have set that for $25. Um, but now my price bucket is starting at 19 99 or 20 on Poshmark. And so that's why um, they're selling for cheaper. It's just fine. Um, this goes to Laura. Where does Laura live? Come on, where's my mouse? Laura lives in Ohio. Thank you guys. Night desk. Let me know when you want me to come on. I don't think I can come on tomorrow. You probably already left anyway. But I don't think I can come on tomorrow. I have to go to the honey hole tomorrow and get a hundred items. And then I think after tomorrow and next Monday, I will start having enough for reseller boxes again. So if you're looking for plus size clothing, partially manifested, uh, hit me up. I have one person right now on the waiting list who wants to get first dibs. But once she gets what she wants, it'll be, you know, anybody's. Uh, okay. I know that Maggie has sold a lot. Not a lot, but I think like about five or six of your pieces, right, Maggie? And you got 21. So that's not bad. All right, let's ship this. All right, I had to give this lady a refund for combined shipping because she bought these separately. Um, I bought these last month. I remember on my, well, not last month. This is the one I was thinking about. These were listed in October, and I remember buying them at the store. I remember having somebody on the phone going, I don't know if I should buy these. I don't know if I should buy these. Uh, they are chef shirts and they're by happy chef and they're exactly the same. And rather than putting in the skew that I had two of them, I listed them separately and I like just moved the wording around. So like, 
on this one, I might have just put an L for large instead of large, or I might have moved restaurant in front of cooking. And so it's a good thing I did because after she bought one, um, a little while later, she ended up buying the second one. And so I'm going to ship these together. I think her name's Tracy. She lives in Virginia, Fairfax. And I got to remember to copy and paste this um, tracking number. So I gave her $350 back. She didn't ask me for combined shipping. Neither did the lady with the four pairs of pants. I don't wait for them to ask me for combined shipping because when I do that, in the past, a few years ago, I was like, oh, they didn't ask for combined shipping, so I'm just going to keep all the money. Well, what happens is then after the fact, like three, four, five, six weeks later, they're like, um, you didn't combine these. Um, you didn't combine these, and you should have combined shipping. And then I have to go back, and I have to research it, and pff, I don't want to do that. You know, I want to have to go back and figure out, do I owe them anything? Like, you know. All right. So for two of these, they're over two pounds. It's going to cost me $7.15 to ship them together. Priority would have been $9.94. So she spent $10.50 and I've got for $7.15. So I got... A little over three dollars on that one. I think I've got one more piece from that vacuum to ship. I think I've got the battery still, and I may wait on that. That may need really thick bubble wrap too. I don't know. Some people I got in here nine. Thanks for sticking with me. I know this isn't the most exciting show, but <laughs> I'm on, I'm here, so I might as well keep on rolling, right? I take it you're not a football fan, Jennifer? All right, this is another Poshmark sale, um, $12, I'm sure. Uh, $12 and it's a t-shirt. I put Southwestern on it because I did, I'm, I just listed this one too. This looks so familiar. Yeah. End of January. So this is cute. It's by Sonoma. Um, little Southwestern pattern there. So $12. I get six dollars of that after my cost of goods so i mean listen guys when you own a bookstore and you make 50 cents on every book you buy or you sell six dollars is heaven if i could have made six dollars on every book i sold in that place i would be so happy i had to sell thousands of books a month just to pay my bills it's crazy The curriculum I made some money on, but the paperback books and stuff like that, no. Gay in Eureka, Illinois. Oh. Not particularly, Jennifer. Yeah, we stopped during the, the kneeling thing. We, my wife and I are both like, we don't like to mix politics with stuff. Like we just, we watch the games to have fun and enjoy. And we don't, that just, um, that's how I feel about Facebook. I, this one girl I follow, I may stop following her. She's a sweet girl. Um, I mean, I watched her grow up, but she has just turned her Facebook and her Instagram in to so much politics and I mean it's really bad and she put some post one day about how 
you know, I don't understand you people that watch my channel and you don't ever comment. You don't ever like it. You don't ever. And don't you understand how important this is? Like we're talking about over the war and over there, you know, the Gaza stuff. And I just replied to her and I said, because that's what my Instagram, my Instagram is not for that. My Facebook is not for that. And she just, you know, I don't know. Maybe she blocked me. I don't, I, I'm still getting her stuff. Okay. This sold for $16 on Poshmark. So we're getting up a little bit. Uh, this is one of those Miss Dorby dresses that I bought. I still have a couple left. I was really surprised. Let me see. Yeah, I was really surprised that this one didn't sell with the others because there for a while was really some. It's like a pale pink um, Miss Dorby dress. I had, I probably had 15 of these, all different ones. The other ones I have are more career wear with jackets and stuff, though. So I don't know. So take a little bit longer to sell. Um, I should have grabbed every single freaking one of those dresses they had, but I was trying not to get duplicates. And they only had like 12P and 14P, and that was it, sizes. And I was like, uh, I don't need three of the same dress in the same size. So I was, you know, and I probably should have done it because I could have sold. I could have sold more, but I don't want to be greedy. It's too late now. This goes to Jordan in North Charleston, South Carolina. Adam's probably watching the game tonight, I would think. We're getting there. We're getting there. And I'm going to, I'm definitely going to have to ship this in a, uh, what do you call it? Large bubble mailer. This sold for $39.32. It was listed either Wednesday or Thursday. Um, big whoop, right? But it's the battery. That's what I thought was going to go first. And did I put, I don't think I put that it was 21% charged, but I, a lot of these were in the plastic, so I showed the plastic bag and I included the plastic bag in the picture to show that it was from a new machine. Did I put that? No. I was going to put that it was 21% charged and I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. But anyway, I will do that one later with large bubble wrap. I already lost the other piece. This is probably the last thing that sold today. It's an Alfani dress. It sold for $27.56. It was listed way back in March of 2022. God. That's when I was doing those dresses, Maggie. But it's cute. It's got a leaf pattern on it. Isn't that cute? That was back before I was showing my, um, my dress length template up there. It show, sold right before I came on. And this goes to Leanne, L-I-A-N-E. I guess that's how you say it. In Tacoma, Washington. I'm ready for some sleep. I didn't get a nap today. Hmm. How are uh, jewelry sales for you, Jennifer? I thought about doing jewelry, um, but I'm not I'm not real knowledgeable in it, so I went back to parts when I decided to add a new niche.
I did sell a lot of Native American jewelry a few years ago from our collection, but Christy was watching a couple of my personal videos on my YouTube in Cringe City, seeing my old bigger self. And but it makes you feel good to of where you are now, right, Christy? But yeah, I get that. I have that, you know. But now it makes you make you feel so good. See how far you've come. Oh, when I took my channel down last year, I deleted a whole, well, not deleted. David Jeffers told me not to delete them, but I made them private. A lot of the real old ones, um, because they were just so god awful. <laughs> I mean, Rita remembers my first live stream. This was my first live stream. It was horrible. I'm almost done here. What is this? Oh, here's another part, but this is a different. This is from a baby. Let me see what. Oh, I forgot to put that shipping label on that chef shirt. Dang it. Um, dang it. Ugh. Okay, this was listed in January. It's up for 2618. I'll have to look and see if this is one from Kimmy or not. It may be, let me see. It's a little blade from a Biba Baby Cook Solo. Let me see, I can tell by just, nope. I bought it at a thrift store because I have the picture of the bottom of the machine. So that's a newer purchase. So not too shabby. At, that was actually one I took a picture of during my video at the kitchen table. If y'all watched that video when I was partying out, I mean, I was photographing. This goes to Gonzalez Ramirez. Is Gonzalez a first name? I don't know. I wonder if they just put their last name. I don't know. I hate shipping blades because I'm always afraid someone's going to get cut. So I'm going to wrap this super, super well. Like that's way too much bubble wrap, but I don't care. I don't want anybody to get cut. How's that? Huh? I already had the box made for time's sake. I'm really with it tonight. Five by five. That weighs a whole four pounds, a I mean four ounces, four point two ounces. What did I say? Six by five by five. Hmm. We lost somebody. Okay, again, this is defaulting to priority. Four dollars forty three cents. Body dysmorphia. I know. I put my looks down all the time. But all I can do is just the best I can do. And there's some days I just don't give a flip. Like I will go and walk my dogs in pajama pants, t-shirt. Um, just I really don't care. It's just like, you know, stare at me if you want. I'm comfortable, really don't care, and that's just how I am. I would wear pajama pants to work if I was allowed to, because that's what I like to wear. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, don't do that. 
Ah, got that sucker so crooked. Mm. I think I got one more item to show you guys. Where's that? Oh, yeah, one more. Okay, this is a brand that um, I started picking up. It doesn't sell for a whole lot, but um, I just sold another one the other day. It's Grace Elements. Now, this one's been sitting since December of 22. I sold it for $18.98. But the other one I sold this past week on Poshmark went really fast. It's called Grace Elements. I don't know if any of you have ever sold this before, um, but I've been picking it up lately. And this one just happened to sit for a while, but and then after I get off here, I'm going to pack those two parts and then I'm going to crash for the night. I think um, I'm, I'm craving ice cream. I wish I had some ice cream, but I don't, I don't think I have any. Okay, this may be over a pound. It almost feels over a pound. Yeah. Okay, so I'm planning to have a hangout this week, and it will either be Wednesday or Thursday. So um, here's ways you can find out. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell for all notifications. Join my Facebook page because it will be listed on my Facebook page. There will be a link to the live stream there, Reseller Robo. Join my Instagram page. It will be linked there on Instagram. So there's all different ways to be reminded. Also, if you're not a member of the Reseller Squad, um, share, and, and then what's the other one? Uh, Buffalo Pickers, I list them there. So there's no reason why you guys won't know that I'm going live because I hear that a lot from people telling me, well, I don't get the notification. Well, um, you may not get the notification, but you will get something on those Facebook pages that tell you it's coming up. I usually put it up about three or four hours before the show. And um, so I don't know. It's the only thing I can tell you. I'm having so many people telling me that, that I'm having to send them out individually and it's getting to kind of be a little little bit of a challenge to do that. So I think I missed some people tonight, but I think a lot of people are watching the game, which is totally understandable if you're a football fan. So let me go ahead and pull you guys over here um, so I can say goodbye and read any other comments in the chat. Eat it. Are you coughing a lot? Oh yeah, it is. It is bad to eat ice cream when you have a cold. I want ice cream too. It is if you're snotty, yeah, because it, it gives you more mucus. But sometimes, sometimes you just want it even when you're sick. And I understand that, you know, I don't think there's any ice cream in the freezer. I, don't, I have no business eating it. So, because um, I'm on keto starting today, we started back. But are you coughing a lot? The stuffy nose. Eat it. See, she wants you to eat it, um, Rita. Okay, well, I'm going to hop on out of here. I hope you all have a wonderful night. May God keep you in his pocket. Remember that we're all in this business boat together, so keep on paddling, and I will see you on my next live stream. Bye. Bye.